Well, hello everyone. I'm not sure where to look. Where's the camera? Over there in front of me? Anyway, um, what was I thinking saying Monday for the move? Um, that surely, or Monday at the earliest for a video. <laughs> what was I thinking? I did not remember. Sorry, I'm having a, I'm already been working and working up a sweat. Let me fix my hair. Um, yeah, I forgot how tedious moving can be, so <laughs> it's going to be a minute before we get that kind of a video, at least probably another week. Um, so I'm going to give you a tour. We did move. They came and packed. Let me give you a little update. Um, let me see. We went and signed our lease agreement on Thursday. So I called um, my moving company that I originally had. We got the keys on Thursday. So I called my original lady, the moving company. She's, she wasn't available until the 20th. And we wanted out ASAP. So um, I told her I would call her back. There's Char Char. There's my little Charlie. He was traumatized. He was really traumatized. Char, we, you gonna say hi to everybody? Oh, baby? Yeah. He was really traumatized. I'll tell you a story about the cats here in a minute. Um, so I had to scramble. I called, there's a local company here called Two Men in a Moving Truck. She said, I'll, okay, what do you have in your house? I'll send you a quote in 10 minutes. Is you gonna bite me? Is we gonna fight? And um, so I waited and waited. It was like, she says, I, you know, I'll have it to you in 10 minutes. Gave her my email. It was the next day before I got her quote. So I ended up looking on the internet for a local company and I looked at the Yelp reviews and this company had good reviews. Don't go by Yelp reviews. Don't get me wrong, they're a very personable company, but no, no. So I went with um, this particular company and he, um, let me see. Yeah, that was Thursday. So I said, well, I'll go on and use your company. So they came and started packing on Friday. Let me see, they were there for 11 hours packing. And let me tell you, they had two men to start on my craft room. Kept pulling the one man out, so it was one man. They couldn't come on Saturday because they had previous engagement. So Sunday was gonna be the move day. And the one... <laughs> So the one man was back in the craft room and up until um, the truck was fully loaded, he was still packing my craft room. It took almost a full 24 hours to pack the craft room. So anyway, we got moved in here on Sunday. So we've been unpacking since, but um, he gave me one quote and then he wouldn't even give his men like breaks to eat to rest no um he did feed them on sunday because we made a big deal out of it um but anyway it costed me way more with this moving company than my original and they broke um they put a hole in one of my cabinets from the uh, craft room they broke a bookcase broke a bowl um i'm pretty sure a lot of my little um Jewelry box, trinket boxes, I'm pretty sure they're broke. Um, let me see. Um, cracked my TV entertainment stand. Destroyed the fish stand. So, um, but we got moved. It is what it is. You know, I, I literally had no choices at that point. But um, Friday when they moved, um, the movers opened up every window in the house because they're getting hot. I had the AC on, but they had opened up all the windows. And then at the end of the day, I heard the alarms going off, um, like bedroom window closed, blah, blah, blah. So I assume they closed them all. And then we took off. Um, Pete and I had to go do something. I forget what it was. But when we come back, uh, we brought, we had to take my sister home or no, I forget. I don't know. A lot's happened since, you know, all that. But we come back and there's this cat in the driveway. And I said, that looks like Charlie. Is that Charlie? And the cat took off. So we went in the house and I'm doing inventory of all the cats. And 
I'm not seeing Charlie and I go into the master bedroom, there is a hole in the screen. Well, there was a little hole to begin with, but now it was a gigantic hole. So Charlie had tore the screen and came out. And he's been traumatized ever since, but it took us about 20 minutes to get him back in the house. So then I have to put the cats in the cat carrier because we're gonna bring them all over here. Let me see, I snatched Pearl up, put her in. Snatched him up, put him in a carrier. Um, put Charlie in a carrier. I had to fight Dana to get her in a carrier, so I put her in a carrier. No, I didn't. At this point, I still hadn't put Charlie in a carrier yet. Um, I snatched Dana up. I had to fight her to get her in a carrier. Then I decided I was going to put Pearl and Dana together because we are short one carrier. So I scooped Pearl out of the carrier she was in, go to put her in the one. Dana's in. Dana pops out. Pearl goes in. <laughs> I had to catch Dana a second time, but I caught her. So those two rode together. Emma's in one. So then I have, then we go for Allie. She fought. We had to pin her up against the wall and the claws are coming out, but we got her in the, in her carrier. So then we have one carrier left for Charlie and it was a cloth one. So we put Charlie in the cloth one. And then Momo was going to free roam. I was going to hold him in the car. So we get in the car and we're, oops, sorry. We're driving down the road. That was my finger. Wait. I don't know where I did that. But anyway, um, we hear this rip, rip. And this is, in my head, this is Charlie thinking, oh, this feels like that screen window that I ripped in the house. I can get out of here. Rip, rip. Next thing we know, this little fuzzy thing comes up between us, Pete and I, and it's Charlie. He done ripped the cloth cat carrier. So he was free roaming at that point. But that we got them all in here and they hid for two or three days so it's been a chore moving um but charlie's really been traumatized at least little sound he doesn't know he's under our bed and he's in here sleeping right now hold on let me see if i can i don't even know how to turn this around hold on let's see hang on my wet baby sweeping sorry Sorry, the picture's not so good, you guys. But anyway, so I'm going to um, give you a tour of the new place, okay? And, um, yeah, and that'll be the video for today. And that way you'll see how much, <laughs> but it's a, it's a chore. And um, it's a chore. And so I had to, I wanted to do all this myself. And I called the girl. You know, I wanted to purge and clean as I did it. Next time, I'll pack myself. But there's not going to be a next time. This is it right here. Um, but I wanted to clean everything and to purge one more time. And I said, I'm over it. Uh, girls, I need you here. I need you here. So, all right. Let me flip the camera around and we will do a tour um, of the... of the apartment, okay? Okay, this is the bedroom. And excuse the mess, you guys. You know we're still moving in. And today is laundry day. Okay, I'm gonna stand in the door. So here's the bedroom. We come around here. And we have the master bathroom. And it's still a mess, too. And then we got the master closet. And not as big as my walk-in closet at my other place. Then we have the laundry room, guest bathroom. I need to wash, I'm washing the shower curtain for that. As 
you can tell, this is the craft room. Not nearly as big as my other craft room. But I got a bigger closet and I plan on utilizing that closet. Oh yeah, and they tore up a bookshelf, one of my bookshelves. So my desk is in place and ready to go. I just need to find my basic crafting things and we'd be good to go. There's Pearl. This is the furnace and the water heater. Linen closet. We have coat closet. No pearl. So another shot down the hallway. This is the messy living room. Say hi, honey. Hi, honey. There's Moomba. Allie. Set up the fish tank. The fishies are happy. And then this is the sunroom. And this room, this room was full all the way across with boxes. And all this is craft room boxes. Craft room. So, here's the dining room, our front door. My kitchen is like one third the size. So I definitely do need to downsize and I'm waiting to make some tea. I got my tea pitchers. I'm waiting to make my tea and see see that hole that wasn't there to start with and we do have a garage so my daughter came over and helped me do my jars But a lot of this is craft room. A good majority of that is craft room. That's trash over there. But yeah. So as you can see, it's a hot mess. But we are here. And I am getting closer towards um, being able to do a video. So if you want, though, I can do a video every day of the progress being made. Um, there won't be a, a progress today because it's laundry day and we finally got internet. And we are going to just take a day and relax because we are sore. We are so sore. But that's going to do it for today, and as always, be safe. Don't let the world change your smile. Let your smile change the world, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.